Hey, what's up, everybody? Craze and Addy here with a special treat today. April's edition of a snack crate. Ooh. <laughs> oh, shit. Don't, Look in the don't. side of it. Hold on. Don't, don't. <laughs> a monthly bucks from around the world. Ooh. Have you had one of these before? Um, I have, and it was from Korea. Korea. It North was Korea. pretty cool. Yeah, North Korea. It was from South Korea. If it was from North Korea, it would have just had a bunch of like rocks. and <laughs> Leather boots. <laughs> a leather strap you can chew on. There you go. And put some pepper on it. Super bomb. South Korea knows what they're doing when it comes to snacks. Yeah. Last month was South Korea. This month, I didn't know. And we kind of held it off for as long as we possibly could until Addison spoiled it. Literally, <laughs> like five minutes before we started. <laughs> I couldn't hold it in any longer. <laughs> It's it's actually pretty heavy too. Yeah. So oh, it, yeah. oh, Brazil. And I gave it stickers too. Stickers. Can the Brazilian we? flag. And just a snack crate one. Rio de Janeiro statue of Jesus. I yeah. actually did not know what that was. It's uh, an iconic statue. That's uh, that's in the capital of Brazil. People from around the world go and they visit it and the locals worship it. So, Snack Crate Brazil, what does this have in here? Oh, this is cool. So they give you like a little background and some fun facts and they let you know like the capital, the currency, population, and official language. Oh, damn. It has, it has a breakdown of what's in there. Um, so, this page is... Spoilers. Yeah. Spoilers. My bad. The capital of Brazil is Brasilia, but Rio de Janeiro is a huge part and yeah. a huge tourist attraction. So there's some fun facts. Well, I'm not going to I'm not going to go through the bio right here. But I'll hit you with some fun facts. <laughs> Did you know the word Brazil comes from the Portuguese word for Brazil wood, a tree that once grew plentiful along the Brazilian coast? Ooh. Brazil contains 60% of the Amazon rainforest. Rio de Janeiro was the capital of Portugal. Was once the capital of Portugal. There are 70 uncontacted tribes that live in the Amazon rainforest. That's crazy. And Brazil shores a border with all South American countries except for Chile and Ecuador. I didn't know that. And there's your little tidbit of information for today. There's three different sizes of boxes that you can get. There's a mini, a medium, and a large. Nope. I have the medium one. It's about $26, but it's on sale right now for $20, which is cool. You do get a lot of stuff. I think this one has like 8 to 12, so it's just that long first page oh, okay. um, is what's in the box. The second page would be if you got the larger box, and you can do oh. like a drink upgrade. Last month's box, Korea, they had like an alcohol drink. Ooh. But I, you know, I, I just wanted to do it for the snacks, so I didn't really. A lot of stuff is coming in boxes now. And what I like about it is when they, they sort of like surprise you with stickers and pamphlets with information on it. Yeah. It just makes it feel that much more special. So there's a little sticker of the Brazilian flag in the middle. And then peel this off. All right, so go ahead and pick from the box. Okay. And I will well. let you, I'll read off whatever information we so have. So let's pick this first run here. Cassini, and I'll let you read the other words because I can't pronounce uh, that. Bisoito de Olivito. <laughs> We're probably butchering that. <laughs> they look like um, styrofoam peanuts. Crunchy and salty fries made from cassava. Um, hmm. Maybe it's like a Cheeto. I don't know what that is. I wonder what that is. I'm not sure. Try you, know, you want to try it? Yeah. Let's go ahead and try it. Okay. Well, it's quite a weird shape. It smells like packing peanuts. Yeah. Not a fan. Oh, no, <laughs> no, <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm it good on this one. It tastes like it needs something. Ready, boy? See if our dog likes it. He'll eat anything. His favorite food is plastic. Well, Brazil, <laughs> these right here. I'm going to have to go ahead and pass on them. I'm sorry, man. I'm not Dusty to didn't even eat it. Next, we have Torcida Jr. Is that is this cheese? It, it looks like it has cheese on it. Que hijo. It does look like little cheese crackers. Fried cheese bread squares. Okay. Torcida is also what Brazilians call their soccer team. Torcida. Tor torquida. Excuse me. I like that one. It's kind of like a baked cheese. It doesn't really have all the flavor of a cheese, it, but it has like... You know, like, you you know how they came out with cheese nips and it wasn't the best? Kind of like that. You like them? I don't like the way the cheese smells, but they're pretty good, dude. It's really good, actually. Not something I'd go out of my way to buy, though. Kind of like, no, those are good. These are these are really good. You don't like them? <laughs> uh, uh, they're okay. Not my first choice. They remind me of um when they came out with Doritos 3D. Oh, you're right. They're like hollow puff. These are good. These are good, Brazil. Good job, Brazil. Thumbs up. These are called Dentaduras Teeth. 
It says seven bellow. Wait, no. Dentadoros, gummy candies shaped like teeth. Wear them over your teeth to impress your friends. I do see a lot of fighters from the zoo, so. Yeah. They Ooh. might get their teeth knocked out. Yeah. They're like, um, they're like gum shields for your, they're like playful. These are good. Mm. These are good. I'm not liking Brazil very much. Right now. Don't, don't. <laughs> they're regular gummies. Yeah. They're kind of, they have that strawberry taste. They do have a strawberry taste. These are good. <clears throat> okay, so if you like fake teeth, get yourself some dentaduras from Brazil. Dent. Impress your friends. I believe it's pronounced dentaduras. Oh, oh. Maybe, I don't know. I mean, we gotta oh, get down the dialect, right? Mm hmm. Dusty, get out of here, boy. Go. No. Oh, shit. What is this? Oh, oh this is Brazilian God. air, dude. Oh, I see one in there that I'm not, I'm not liking the look of it. You're not liking the look of the I, club social? I, I'm not sure. Um, Presunto. It's ham flavored cracker snacks. It does look like ham. It looks like ham. Hold on. Let's, let's see what this is. These ham flavored crackers oh, are delicious God. and addictive. I don't know if I want to try this one. Smell it. Open it and smell it. Mm, they're like, they're like, they're like wrestling cards. I want to, I want to open it perfectly. I don't want to rip it like a <laughs> savage. Like I did. They smell like ham. Oh no. They smell like, they smell I didn't even like ham to begin with. It smells like a Lunchable. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I can't. Eat it. Just, just oh eat. no. Oh no. It's so bad. Dusty will like it. Don't eat more than that. Mmm. Oh no, they taste like ham. Who goes out and buys ham crackers? These aren't bad, dude. I'm digging them. Here. Well, they do smell like dog food, so Dusty might like them. These aren't bad, dude. Get some it's cheese. Gonna, it's gonna be a no for me. Get some cheese. I'm gonna have to say no, dog. Here, maybe you'll, ooh, maybe you like ooh. this. Garoto Talino with Brazil nuts, a winning combination. Talento. Talento. It's a winning combination of rich milk chocolate and exotic chopped Brazilian nuts. Mmm. Ooh, open here. Finally, dude, come on. Let's make this shit easy. <laughs> I still have that ham taste in my mouth. That's not bad, dude. I like it. I, I. Whatever, dude. I'm just going right into it. <laughs> first, first impressions. Addy, this is a big ass piece of chocolate. It is. This is one of those Bully Wonka chocolates that you have to make last a year because you can't afford to get another one. Good. I'm digging this one. Very good. Those Brazil nuts kind of have a different taste. I, th I thought they'd taste like almonds or cashews. Well, they're not those BS Brazilian nuts you get from the store. But they're actually really good. This is good. And unlike here in America, they're not shy with their chocolate. Yeah. Pacuguita, pacuguita, capochita, la palomita. I don't know. Dulce de amendium, and it has a peanut on it. So what do you think it is? I'm guessing it is something to do with peanuts or peanut butter taste. The pacuguita is the most beloved peanut butter candy in all of Brazil. Hey. Okay. Small in size, big in flavor. It broke. Oh, damn. Broke you know what it reminds pieces. me of? <laughs> it, it reminds, reminds me, me of those um, the Spanish candies with the rose on it that breaks whenever you open it. Hell yeah. Kind of smells like it too, eh? That That's is good. good. That is bomb. It tastes like a that is Chico bomb. stick. Yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. You gotta have some water though. Yeah, this is kind of dry. And it makes a mess, but don't that's eat, okay. Don't eat this shit in the desert. Yeah, no. I like that one. Mm. That's a yes for me. No. I don't know if I want to try that. The <laughs> pedemoca. This here. Addison, why don't you go ahead and read me what that is right there. Dulces Unio. So it's a candy and it has peanuts on it and it looks like big pieces of sugar. It's there's there's no description in here. Holy shit. There's not? It's there snuck, has to it's be. snuck by. This is not this is the wrong page. No, I know, but look. It's it's snuck in. It would be this one. Okay, what? Oh, yeah, yeah. Mocha. It looks different in the picture. The name means girl's foot, but this snack made from peanuts and condensed milk is nutty and sweet. Oh, you with the foot fetish out there? I know. There we go. You don't want it? I don't know. You want me to? That's condensed milk. You want me to try it before you? Yeah. Ooh, it stinks. Oh no, I can't. Bigger than that. Bigger than that. Good girl. <laughs> Put that over there in case you need to put anything. Come on, man. It wasn't that bad. It's a no from me, dog. 
We got small candies right here. You want to try one? I do want to try one. This one is called Seven Bellow. These raspberry fruit chews are a nostalgia bomb for Brazilians longing for their youth. Um, they taste like knockoff Starburst. It's like one of those things mm. that you go to your grandma's house and you ha she has her little crystal bowl full of candies. Mm. And you like the candies, but you can never find them anywhere. They're just not, they don't exist. That's what they are. Seven Bell is the old people candy. What is that? It has a coconut on it, and it's by Nestle. Prestigio. It says a candy bar featured featuring rich coconut covered in chocolate. Ooh. Ooh, you ready? I am. I'm hoping it's like the Almond Joys. The Brazilian Almond Joys? There's a lot of coconut. I'm sorry, not Almond Joy. Mound. Mounds is the one that's just coconut. What's Almond Joy? Almond Joy has the one little... It's the same thing. It's just Almond Joy has one almond on it. And Mounds just has coconut. I like it. It's like, it tastes rich. Not rich, but... Yeah. It's sweet, but like a good amount of sweet. This is a pretty good box. Banana da Franzanidia. A traditional Brazilian banana candy. I'm looking forward to this one. I'm noticing a lot of nuts and bananas, so... Well, they're bananas, and they're, they go nuts in Brazil. Ooh. Looks like another Spanish candy. Those pulperindos. Yeah, yeah. Does it taste like a banana? Ooh. <laughs> Not digging it. What is that face? That it one's says a little it rough. It doesn't contain gluten. Ooh, that's good. And it has energy in it. What? Yeah, Go it ahead. says energy value 93k cal. What is that? Whatever the hell that means. I don't know what that means. Um, this is gonna go straight in the trash. Unless you'd like to eat it. No offense, no offense, Brazil. Sorry, Brazil. But we just grew up with different, with a different palate, dude. Yeah. Like, um, I'm not trying to be disrespectful. I actually like quite a few of these things, but yeah. here we move on. We don't have a lot of um, completely fruit-based candies here, That's very so true. That's we don't very true. really have that taste. When we think candy, we think processed sugar. <clears throat> yeah, that good good. Yeah, like Sour Patch Kids. Nestle Charge, so it's another Nestle candy. Hey, Nestle. Nestle worldwide. <laughs> a popular candy bar featuring chocolate, peanuts, and rich caramel. What could go wrong here? That's a pretty big bar. Yeah, dude, the proportions and, and the weight, dude. Yeah, they're like heavy. The weight of all this stuff is, is quality, man. In Brazil, you guys aren't regulating your food you as much as we are. You can knock people out there. <laughs> oh, you can <laughs> <laughs> throw your candy bar. Where is that? It is chocolate, peanuts, and caramel. But what is that white stuff? Mmm. Not bad. Not enough chocolate to nuts ratio. I'd say less nuts and you got it. Not bad. Now the rest of the box. It's just those. It just has more. Um, it has more seven bellow, and one more of these bombies. These are really good. Yeah, I th I'd say that was the number two compared to the chocolate. Okay, now let's do a little something here. Very good dog snacks. Not very good human snacks. <laughs> That's a weird concept. I mean, what did they do? Like. Soak the cracker in ham juice, ham juice or <laughs> I still taste it after all of that. I still taste ham since there wasn't very many hits in this box for you, at least. Mm -hmm. uh, I want you to look through all these, okay, and give, give me your top three and just top three. Right here. Oh, <laughs> um, I liked the chocolate, Dalin, Dalinto. you know, that's that was a good one. Dalinto. I like the Brazil nuts, I liked the peanut butter candy that tasted like a chick. Chico stick. I would say the cheese crackers are my third. Mm, mm. I like those. I wouldn't be buying any of this. These, I would. You would buy you would buy these? I would buy these. What about yours? What are your top three? I'd probably move this one. Maybe no no. Here we go. That's number one. Here we'll we'll use this one instead because this one's more intact. I'll put I'll put that one first. Okay. That one's good. It reminds me of the Mexican candies. This is a second. If it didn't smell so much like strong cheese. That, that kind of, once again, I didn't grow up on these, man. It's a little foreign to me, for lack of a better word. But I, these are these are good. Oh, I'll hey. put that one first. Step it up. These ones second. 
And since these ones I'm more I'm most familiar with because we kind of have something like this, this is really good. These are my Very top good. three out of here. In short, I believe that mm -hmm. there was a few, few good ones in there, mostly misses for me. Um, but I didn't grow up with that kind of taste palette. But I would say that's a little weird for them to be um, the most popular mm -hmm. candies and things in in that area. Uh, who knows? Who knows if this is the most popular? You I know, mean, that's what it says. What if? What if there's some uh, there's some like Snyder's of handover over there that we don't oh, know about shit. that that are like bangers. That's a bomb. They're just keeping it all for themselves. Yeah, yeah. That they, they they don't want to they don't want to share it with us. And the cool thing is, if you actually like any of these a lot, you can order them singly. Like, you can order them. Cart? Yeah, a la carte. You can just order, like, 500 of those cheese nip cracker things if Might you want. Might have to get some. <laughs> so, out of five, what would you rate this box? One and a half. <laughs> I'm harsh. <laughs> That's fine. Two and a half, maybe? No, you, one and a half. I believe the one and a half. <laughs> what uh, about you? I'd give it a. I'd, there was a. I'd give it a two. Two? I was thinking uh, you would say three. Maybe two and a half. Yeah. Honestly, um, it's cool. It's cool. My dog's eating the snacks. <laughs> he stole just, something. Um, it's cool. I I love the snack crate idea. I'm behind the snack crate idea. Yeah. You, you get to experience another culture's uh, snacks. The one thing. That I can I can say about that I can say negatively about snack rate mm -hmm. is the customer service, bro. Not good. We had we had a pretty a pretty rough experience getting this snack crate. Yeah. Getting multiple send out because I guess it got lost in the mail or something. Something like that. <laughs> and just the lack of information or, or at least updates as far as as to what where your crate is and when it's gonna get there. Yeah. Other than that. The the South Korean snack crate was a hit. Pretty good, really good. I love that one. I really like that Brazil one. I love you, Brazil. Maybe we'll maybe we'll get together one day and I'll go down there and visit you guys and experience real good food. Yeah. So hit up snack crate at at snackcrate dot com. Mm -hmm. Is that what it is? It is snackcrate dot com. Sn uh, you go on there. You can pick your size of your box, and they actually let you pick out of two. Um, where you want your first crate to come from. Ooh. So I had a choice between South Korea and Australia. And I picked South Korea. I hear Australia has a lot of good shit. I do too, but I've never had anything from South Korea. So I, I, I really, I wanted to broaden my horizon. No, no, that was good. That was a definitely a good move because there was some, there was some there good was stuff. There was some nice stuff, Other than yeah. the ramen, the candy ramen. Ooh, I, I... I, I enjoyed that. It was like a chili cheese kind of, you know, like how we have a top ramen, you just break it up and you pour the packet. Tasted like chili cheese. Um, it was okay. Not something I would buy on, on the regular, though. So. Well, there you go, Snack Crate. Keep on keeping on. Hashtag Snack Crate on the various social medias. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it, bro. Day.